Hey there folks, Troy Gooch from Interdrums.com here. I hope you're all well. What I've got for you today is a feel that I've just been mucking around with today that I thought sounded really cool and I want to share it with you. So the cool thing about this pattern is that I'm going to incorporate a left foot step. So this is something I've been mucking around with on and off for the last few years and trying to incorporate it into my playing just because I find, especially at sort of lower volume gigs, it's a really cool kind of texture to add in instead of doing all the same kind of linear stuff. And it's a great way of breaking up your linear patterns. As always, we're gonna break this into four beat sections. We're gonna start with beat one and we're gonna count in 16th note triplets. So we're gonna count one triplet and triplet, two triplet and triplet, three triplet and triplet, four triplet and triplet. If you've got a better way of counting it, by all means use that way. In beat one, we've got an accent on the floor tom, followed by two ghost notes on the snare with our left hand. Then we're gonna play an accent with our right hand and then two ghost notes again on the snare. So we've got one triplet and triplet. In B2, we've got a step with our left foot, then right left on our hi-hat, and then followed by a right hand accent, and then two ghost notes with our left. Cool, so let's put beat one and two together at 30 beats per minute. So in B3, we're gonna start with an accent on the hi-hat, a ghost note on the snare, accent on the snare, two ghost notes, and then a bass drum. And now everything so far. And now lastly, beat four, we've got snare, tom one, floor, 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 kick. And then we're gonna crash on the one. So let's put that all together now at 30 beats per minute. All right, let's speed it up. Let's do it at 60 beats per minute. Now, 90. And 
And now lastly, let's do it at 110. There you go, I hope you've enjoyed that lesson and it gives you some creative ideas to use that left foot in your own playing. So for all you advanced players out there, if you wanna add a little bit more spice to it, what you can do is you can splash your hats when going into beat four and that will give it a little bit more texture. I would love to see what you guys can do with this, so tag me on my Instagram, at Troy Gretsch or at Into Drums. Thank you so much for checking out this lesson. If you did like it, please hit that thumbs up and if you're not already a subscriber, I would appreciate you subscribing for more free lessons and don't forget to hit that little bell to be notified when I upload new lessons. I'll see you in the next one, folks. So until then, have a fantastic week. And as always, happy practicing.